incubator there was a request on incubators so I figured I'd show you what we use this here is one we're just building this is going to be another one but as you can see it's just a common refrigerator we have our uh, Ranko control on it They're, I like them a lot, I use them for my room everything and then this thing here is just gutted <coughs> and I got the wire coming through for the heat tape and we use 11 inch flex watt for them and we use that and we put a little computer fan in that circulate the air to which I gotta move this probe on the other side that probe is for the Ranko we move in that here in a little bit and then we'll get some light diffusers from like Home Depot or Lowe's or wherever and we'll put probably a dozen shelves or better in here not much just an old refrigerator that didn't work we just took out the uh, the compressor and all the good shit and we took out the ice maker and we kept that we'll put that on eBay make some extra money <laughs> kids over there laughing at me but it's nothing to them man it's all cake and pie this thing here cost me about I don't know the controller I got off eBay I buy all of my shit off eBay this thing here cost me I think it was 40 bucks then the cord which I can't tell you where I got that from but I already got it from Walmart yeah we just bliced her in that's the probe and the flex watt watch eBay because you can find great prices on that sh off eBay I got I think 20 feet for like 10 bucks and anybody that uses the 11 inch flex watt they know they know it's a hell of a deal the refrigerator cost me nothing you know, a friend gave it to me, he didn't want it uh, the computer fan um, just took it out of a computer that didn't work I collect a lot of junk you know if there's any value to it then we use them for what parts we can use and the rest of them we scrap and we'll just wire that up and punch it through the side and you see that's almost a perfect fit right there so that'll pull the air through that hole and blow her out around here or vice versa you know and if I get bored maybe I'll wire another one up on the bottom or something put them on a timer and these these things here they usually run they'll stay constant about 88 to 89 I incubate at 88 degrees a lot of people do 89 but I, I like mine at 88 I feel better but yeah, see, it's just a plain Jane refrigerator. Don't know how to show you. A couple basic tools, a drill, a couple more drills, some drill bits, and some screws. And when I get her all done, fired up, and working, and get some uh, digital thermostats in there, or not thermostats, what the hell do you call them? You all know what I'm talking about temperature gauge whatever um, and I'll put another video up on the finished product and of course when I start getting eggs next year as I throw them in here in their uh, in their shoe boxes or you know the next size up box we use Sterlite Sterlite boxes and Hatchrite I highly recommend Hatchrite there's no pissing around with mixing it and you just dump it right out of the back into your container put your eggs in put her put her in your incubator you know I pop my lids every two days just to get a little extra air flowing but yep it's all you need 